Well, you might think of New England as prime lobster catching territory, but it's here in Ocean City, Maryland, that a group of lobster fishermen hauled in a pretty rare catch. For the crew of the Potluck, based out of the West Ocean City Harbor, catching thousands of crabs and lobsters each week is standard practice. After all, putting food on your table is how they put food on theirs. Typical week in the spring, summertime, early spring, summertime this time of year. 1,000 pounds of lobster, 6,000 pounds of crabs. That's a, that's a decent haul. So while out at sea earlier this week, there he is. finding this in one of their pots, uh, blue lobster had them clawing for words. People should see them, they don't know, they, we don't, they don't even know that we catch lobster here in Maryland. A genetic pigment mutation thought to occur in only one out of every two million lobsters. Amazingly, Captain John Gorley and mate Tim Alinskis have seen such a catch before, about nine years ago as they recall. But that blue lobster didn't survive long after a long journey home in a holding tank with thousands of its typical red and brown colored counterparts. Ah, here we are, transporting the little guy. Boy, his tail's getting weak. Blue lobster. Cow! <laughs> We're gonna go stick him in the tank. I've never seen a blue one. So this time around, this male American lobster lifted from the Washington Canyon more than 100 miles off the coast of Ocean City is being treated wow. with care and with special instructions. Hey, don't sell this guy, okay? So sure, that holding tank at the seafood house across the harbor is fine for now, but what are the long-term plans for Ocean City, Maryland's newest, most famous crustacean? Well, some of the guys aboard the potluck say maybe hook up with an aquarium and put them on display. Others say a return trip to the Atlantic where he came from might be more appropriate. Reporting from West Ocean City, Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker reminding you to get outdoors, Delmarva. Here at the Commercial Harbor in West Ocean City, folks are getting ready to say farewell to a little friend now headed for the big time in Washington, D.C. Tuesday morning, the curator of the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C. <coughs> made a special trip to Ocean City, Maryland to see something even he'd never laid eyes on before. That's pretty awesome. I've never seen a blue one before. There he is! It's the same reaction most people have had since last Thursday when the crew of the commercial fishing vessel Potluck hauled in this blue American lobster. The result of a rare genetic mutation causing a blue pigment in only one of about every two million lobsters. The fishermen calling it too special to throw back decided to donate it. People should see them. They don't know. They, we don't, they don't even know that we catch lobster here in Maryland. And to catch a blue lobster, well, that's even extra special. You don't want to leave us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nicknamed Toby by its temporary caretakers at Martin's Fish Market in West Ocean City, who've kept it in their lobster tank for nearly a week, the rare lobster will be a first of its kind at the National Aquarium, where curator Jay Bradley hopes to have him on display by the 4th of July. Well, basically, he'll go through a two-week observation period. We'll have him in a backup, a backup tank. Uh, we'll make sure that he's eating well and that, you know, that uh, he's, uh, you know, doesn't have any, any problems, any issues with uh, disease or anything like that. And we certainly will acknowledge the, uh, uh, the crew of the boat and, the, you know, where this guy came from to, uh, you know, show everybody uh, that, you know, even, even in Maryland we've got, we have lobsters and we've got blue ones. But there's a lot of pride based out of this small commercial harbor here in West Ocean City, Maryland, too. As one employee of the Martin Fish Company put it, you saw him here first. In West Ocean City, Maryland, Mike Parker, WBOC News. Well, Toby, the rare blue American lobster may be a one in two million catch out in the wild, but here at the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C., well, he's definitely one of a kind. There are plenty of featured creatures at the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C., and every fish has a tale to tell. But on Tuesday morning, all eyes were on one tank awaiting the arrival of a rock star. Toby the Blue Lobster was warming up backstage. We're uh, really interested to see uh, how he does on exhibit, uh, you know, how he interacts with the other, the other animals, and uh, you know, just uh, anxious for, for folks to come down and, and be able to see him. Here we go. After about two weeks of observation behind closed doors and a bill of good health, the moment of truth arrived when a hand holding Toby entered the tank and in he went. 
settling in quickly to a cozy spot right in the back of this artificial reef. I would imagine that he'll probably, you know, after a little while, he'll start moving around, start checking things out. There he is! Toby, whose blue pigment is the result of a genetic mutation, arrived on the scene last month when a group of lobster men hauled him up in a pot off the coast of Ocean City, Maryland. Their donation is recognized with a note on Toby's new tank, which he shares with several black sea bass and a taw dog, all species found up and down the Atlantic coast. And while it might take Toby a while to grow comfortable with his new surroundings, his admirers are growing by the minute. Um, we're hoping, of course, that, uh, that he'll be an attraction uh, for, uh, for a long time. So it's been a busy few weeks for Toby the Blue Lobster, making his way all the way from Ocean City, Maryland, here to the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C. But he already seems to have found a pretty comfortable spot in his new tank, and he's pretty content to stay there for now. But the aquarium officials are confident that eventually, for lack of a better term, he'll come out of his shell a bit. At the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C., I'm Mike Parker, reminding you to get outdoors, Delmarva.